Hello, I'm David Liesenfeld, pastor of Rock Valley Christian Church, here with today's prayer challenge, and it comes to us from the book of Matthew, chapter 24, beginning in verse 29, where it says, Immediately after the tribulation of those days, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light. The stars will fall from heaven and the powers of the heavens will be shaken. Then the sign of the Son of Man will appear in heaven, and then all the tribes of the earth will mourn, and they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he will send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they will gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. Now as we come to the time of year when the Feast of Trumpets would be celebrated, it's at this time that there is a memorial of the blowing of trumpets. You can read about this in the book of Leviticus, chapter 23. It's one of the feast days that God commanded, one of his holidays, where men were to rest from their labors and work and to remember the things that God said to celebrate. Now, the great thing about this Feast of Trumpets is it is a celebration of this time when Jesus Christ returns, when the trumpet sounds and as it says in 1 Thessalonians 4, the dead in Christ are raised and those who are alive and remain will be called up to meet the Lord in the air. But it happens with the shout, the voice of an archangel, and the last trumpet, the trumpet of God sounding. And here as we read in Matthew 24, it is a time that after the tribulation, when God gathers all his elect from the four winds of heaven, as he gathers together his saints, he comes and it is all signaled by the sound of a great trumpet, that trumpet that blows, that says, gather together. God wants to gather you to him. And he sent his son, Jesus Christ, that we could know the freedom from sin. And while his first coming, he came as a lamb willing to give up his life, to lay down his life as a sacrifice for many. He did that and he was raised up after three days and three nights, and he ascended into heaven. But as is prophesied in Psalm 110, the Lord said to my Lord, our Father said to Jesus, sit at my right hand till I make your enemies a footstool for your feet. And there is a time coming when God will literally shake the heavens and the earth, when things will be challenged in every sight to man. The food will be challenged, Disease and health will be challenged. The things that we trust on this earth will be challenged. And Jesus Christ will come. When there are signs in the heavenly places, Jesus Christ will come again. But this time not as a lamb to be slain, but rather as King of kings and Lord of lords in power and glory, where he will gather his saints, those he resurrects from the dead, those who are his at his coming, and where he will begin to initiate his kingdom upon this earth. We're living in an amazing time. And I don't know how long that time is till Jesus comes, but I know that in our hearts, we are to be looking for the day when he returns and we are to be praying and calling out along with the spirit, come Lord Jesus, come. We desire his coming to this earth. We desire his rulership and reign because while the earth has been under the rulership of man, there has been continual corruption, heartache, wars, murder, and oppression. But under the rule of righteous Jesus Christ, he rules as a servant who is not to lord over others with his authority, but rather to use his authority and power to serve the weak, those who are outcast, those who are needy, in order to bring about justice and equity throughout all the earth. And this is the kingdom that is coming, the kingdom of God coming to this earth, Jesus Christ himself being the king who will rule and reign with his saints, who will lead in a way of righteousness and love, and the world will not know what it means to be ruled in such a way. And it is incredible to think about a rule where those who are in leadership are not able to be corrupted, but they are apart from the ways of this world, ruling out of a spirit of love and goodness toward all mankind. This is the hope 
of the return of Jesus Christ. And this is why we as believers look for that day. So the prayer challenge today is to ask God to give us the strength to endure through the tribulation until the return of Jesus Christ. And it is also to ask for our Father in heaven to please send his son soon to this earth, that his kingdom may be established, that there would be an end to the rule and authority in this world that is corrupt, that is apart from God, that denies God. Because in this world, we have many troubles because of the leadership and the rulership that is apart from Christ. But in that day, things will be made new and there will be a new way of governing on this earth, a way that considers the lives of each person in a way in which there is no harm, when no one hurts or destroys in all of God's kingdom. Let's pray for that day to come soon. Let's pray.